Hello everyone, I'm back, Teacher Sally, and I hope all the students in Grade 5 Courage and Grade 5 Perseverance will view this video. Here is our topic for today's video. Go get your book and open on pages 290 to 295. Pay attention on the objectives in your screen. For your additional references, watch the YouTube video and log in in your personalized for the assigned activities. Did you remember the last video about solar system? We knew that aside from the inner and outer planets, there are still other objects orbiting around the sun. Today, we will learn about these objects. Look at the objects that appear in your screen. They are asteroids, meteors, comets, and moon. Let's include the dwarf planet there. These are some of the objects that orbit around the sun. Now let's talk about them one by one. Let's go see asteroid. It is a rocky mass up to several hundred kilometers wide that revolves around the sun. In our solar system, most asteroids orbit in the region between Mars and Jupiter called the asteroid belt. Most of them completes a revolution in three to six years. Let's move on to the meteors. Meteor is formed when a meteoroid hits Earth's surface. What is meteoroid? Meteoroid is a small piece of rock moving in space. A very bright meteors are called fireballs. Comet is a frozen mass of different types of ice and dust orbiting the sun. It comes from area of the solar system beyond Neptune. A comet heats up and loses dust and rocky matter each time it orbits the sun. These loose pieces remain in the comet's orbit. When these pieces collide with Earth's atmosphere, they become meteors. Look at the small object pointed by the arrow. Did you know that it is a dwarf planet? Dwarf planet is a large round object that revolves around the sun, but has not cleared the region around its orbit. In 1930, astronomers discovered Pluto. Pluto has an icy solid surface. Astronomers thought for a long time that Pluto was the ninth planet the only outer planet that is not a gas giant. Today, astronomers do not consider Pluto as a planet. Instead, they call it dwarf planet. The orbit of Pluto is not aligned with the orbits of the other planets. Charon was the first moon of Pluto to be discovered. You heard it right. There is a moon orbiting Pluto. Speaking of moon, the solar system contains many moons. Moon is a natural object that orbits a body bigger than itself. 
Earth and Mars are the only inner planets that have moons. The outer planets have many moons. Well, if you have telescope, discovering these objects in the sky at night is very exciting. Do you think you can discover one? Well, maybe. Remember this. If you are the first person to discover a comet, it could be named after you. Before giving you an activity, let us identify first each picture. Repeat after me. Meteor. Asteroid. Dwarf planet. Moon. Comet. Now in your notebook, Write the correct name of each object that orbits the sun. Observe the correct spelling of your answer. Ready? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. I'll be checking your notebook when we come back to school, so make sure to answer this. I am encouraging everyone to click the link in the description area below to watch more about this topic. I might say, this link is very helpful to you. Enjoy watching! Don't forget to log in in your Pearson account on a scheduled time and work in the assigned task given to you. And don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Masalama everyone! Thanks for watching!